Good morning everyone, Janie here and welcome back to my garden, my garden. So my family and I have been on a Hawaiian vacation for the past week and we have had a fantastic time. We actually went to Kauai, which is the garden island and it was beautiful and it was lush and it was the plants and flowers were gorgeous, but I'm so happy to be home. Um, I, you know, I will admit I was a little nervous about leaving my garden for a week, but we did have a house sitter and I did have my neighbor who was taking care of my garden and they did a fantastic job so thank you to them everything looks good it's just everything grew we had a really hot week when we were gone um, so it everything just kind of blew up <laughs> you know everything I have to deadhead I have to prune things back I have to weed which honestly I don't mind this is my element being in my garden is my element is my favorite thing to do um, so I'm actually really excited to get out here and kind of work uh, so I just wanted to take you guys around with me today when I just kind of did some cleanup I am NOT expecting to get it all done today um, you know I think it's gonna take me a couple days to kind of get everything back in back in shape and I don't want to rush it I really want to enjoy Enjoy it. Um, I did want to show you guys my pots from Proven Winners, my annuals pots. They just blew up in a week. <laughs> like it's crazy how fast things can grow when you have the heat and you have the right food and you have the right conditions and you have the right plant. So let me show you guys that right now. Okay, so starting with my yellow pot, this is my lemonade stand recipe from Proven Winners. So if you guys don't know, Proven Winners will test out uh, combinations in pots and test them out for you so that you know that they're gonna grow well together. So I have Supertunia Limoncello right here. I don't know why this is not focusing. There we go. Supertunia Limoncello right here that is looking so, so beautiful. Uh, Super Bell's yellow and then luscious citron lantana right there and the combination is just beautiful. I am so happy with this this pot. I just think it's so cheerful and happy and I'm just really glad that I picked it out this year. I love it. Here is the fancy footwork pot that has the unplugged pink salvia and then the safari sky James Pretenia. Look at how much this guy is blooming already. I mean, I left and it had maybe a handful of blooms and now it's just going crazy. And then over here, look at that one. How beautiful. And I still have um, Supertunia Bordeaux that hasn't started blooming yet. It's right here. But this is called High Noon Uriops. It's a bush daisy. And then this is uh, Superbina Violet Ice. But look at that combination. Isn't it beautiful? I'm so excited about it. And then let me show you guys. Yes, my yard is a mess. Let me show you those white pots over there. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. Okay, so my Sun Incredible Yellow have started blooming. There's buds all over it. I'm super excited. This is gonna be so full in the next week or two. And I absolutely love this color combination, which is what I was really excited about. That is just so summer to me and it's so beautiful and I love it. This is Barbara Karst Bougainvillea right underneath this incredible yellow for my filler i did um augusta lavender heliotrope which is beautiful filling in absolutely gorgeous and then probably the star of the show is the super tunia mini vista pink star i mean it's just going crazy it is so so happy right below it on either side i have my blew my mind xl evolvulus or dwarf morning glory it's still early so they haven't popped open yet but there are little blue blooms you can see all the little blue spots right there the buds those will pop open as soon as the sun hits it and it's gorgeous and it's beautiful so I just planted those so they're still pretty small um, but they are happy they're loving their life right now and then my bougainvillea I have to cut back that's one of the things I need to do hello there I am in my <laughs> reflection but this is one of the things I need to do we do have more eye hooks so I can extend it as it grows up and I think what I need to do if you look over on this side this guy's going crazy, so I need to bring it back up over here and bring it over to that eye hook right there. So I'm gonna have to add some wire to that. So this is just kind of some of the stuff that I need to do today. I'll have to go to the front yard um, and just kind of do some of the same things, just kind of taking care of things that I would have taken care of last week, um, but just kind of getting everything going. All right, let's go.
So Jason and I got a bunch of stuff done. He got the lawn mowed and edged. I got a bunch of weeds pulled, that bougainvillea taken care of, and then a bunch of things deadheaded. I still have so much more to do, but it's not that big of a deal. I got the, the main, the big stuff, you know, that you can see when you're like driving by. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is just over the next week or two, I'm just gonna take it, you know, spot by spot and really focus and get every single little weed and every single little thing that I need to do, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I do want to show you guys my front swoop. The annuals are looking gorgeous. Okay, let me walk over here. First of all, my glads are starting to bloom. Isn't that pretty? I've got a ton of them coming up, but look at my swoop. Isn't that looking good? So the Supertunia Vista Jazzberry is going crazy. Um, the Snow Princess is looking good. The Sweetheart Lime uh, Ipomoea, it's getting attacked. It's getting attacked by earwigs. So I'm gonna have to put some sluggo around that, but that is okay, not a big deal, and it will recover. But doesn't that look good? It has like doubled in size. I am so happy. This is why I love annuals so much because I just think it makes such a difference in your garden. Let me back up so you guys can see. Ah! I'll try and find a uh, before and after shot. So when we were gone, um, I just talked to my neighbor and uh, she said that we had a bunch of wind. So it was hot and it was windy. So a lot of the plants struggled, but you can see there's there's chunk everywhere. Um, so I have a lot, of, a lot more cleanup to do, but I think it's looking really, really good. And real quick, let me do a quick update on my jasmine. I had a couple people in the comment section ask me about it. Um, so it is doing gorgeous. Look at how beautiful this is. This giant plant right here I got two years ago on Mother's Day and it's in full bloom. I think it's about done because you can kind of see the blooms starting to fade um, and the next flush coming. So I don't know how many flushes it gets, but it's beautiful and it smells gorgeous. This is a second one I added um, last summer, I would say. Um, it's blooming, it's super happy, and it's gonna grow around. I do have some tendrils coming down that I have to train back up or even cut off or something like that. Um, but this one over here underneath my number sign, this one I planted last December, I think it was. Um, and it's not doing as well. Uh, obviously i think for two reasons and i'm not really surprised one of them it's basically full shade so it only gets indirect light and i am pushing it this poor plant i am pushing it um because obviously they like sun but i'm trying to get it to grow right here and i think i will be able to because it's bright enough but i think it's just going to take longer and then the second reason why i think it's going slow is that i think jasmine follow the whole uh sleep creep leap um 
thing and it's this is basically its sleeper year so eventually I'm planning for it to grow up kind of around the number sign and I think it'll be really beautiful um, and then you can see this big one right here it's starting to grow up you can see right here I need to start training it and I'm trying to train it over my garage over my um, over the garage door so it has my house has that whole look of like basically being engulfed by vines <laughs> which is what I want I think it's so beautiful so yeah everything's looking really really good I'm happy with it um, again I just I just have some more work to do all right so that is it I'm happy that I got a lot of this stuff done but there's still a lot more to do but that's kind of the name of the game with gardening there's always something to do which is why I love it so I hope you all enjoyed this if you did please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today